We're about 30 minutes into trading on Wednesday, March 23rd. Hello, traders. Let's take a look at my last pick. Let's get into the market action. Let's find today's pick. That's how it works. NVIDIA. My last video was recorded on Friday. That is the long green candle that you see right there. We're going to go into the five-minute chart. Yes, NVIDIA has done pretty well. We had a nice market rally to also lean on. Let's get rid of some of these moving averages to clear the chart out a little bit. Then we can take a closer look. And we'll also take these buy signals off. And we'll be able to go back and take a look at the price action on Friday. Stock continued to move higher. There you can see March 18th video came out probably in here. Yes, we had a very nice rally in the stock. You can see how the next day the stock continued to move higher. At least a $6 winner. Continue to scroll forward. You can see that the stock had nice opportunities for you to make some money in this pick. Right now, I'm only looking for day trades and very short-term overnight swing trades. The market's been very, very volatile. We've seen overnight gaps in both directions. There's no reason to put longer-term swing trades on until the dust settles, which we're starting to see that a little bit right now. So let's take a look at the market very quickly, see what it's telling us. We've got a gap higher yesterday, and that gap higher yesterday was above the 200-day moving average. Long green candle, first attempt, boom, right through it. Then we get these long tails under body and a compression that holds almost this entire green candle. Yes, we came back, tested the halfway point, but bounce, bounce, bounce. That tells you the buyers are defending it. Then we get our nice release higher, put up the 1OP indicator. We had a bullish divergence yesterday, which you can see bearish cross right there, heading down, able to compress. Yes, we bought that compression right in there, made excellent money on the trade. The rest of the day, though, you can see the market did not do much of anything. And look at today. Today, we've got mixed candles on the downside, gap down, easily testing the low from yesterday, easily testing that 200-day moving average. That's not a particularly great sign. We wanted to see buyers come in and really defend that 200-day moving average with vigor because a drop like this if the market were super super strong everybody that was buying in here is excited as heck to see a market dip like this because it gives them a chance to buy 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 gme got a bullish explosion alert gme has been super hot look at that rally yesterday great relative strength orange line above zero I believe the market is going to fill in this gap, and it is pretty bearish this morning. We're going to be testing that 200-day moving average. If we start closing below the 200-day moving average, there's a good chance that the market will roll over, and we will have a new downward sloping trend line for this channel that would be intact. So this breakout above this downward sloping channel right here, would be nothing more than a head fake to lure in bullish speculators. We've seen it before, right there, downward sloping trend line. Hey, here we go, off to the races, not so fast. All right, well, we'll redraw that downward sloping trend line. Hey, here we go, off to the races, mm, not so fast. This could be another one of those head fakes, so we'll see. We need to close above the 200-day moving average at least for a few days until we can start considering some swing trades, and I'm still expecting some aftershocks. But if we could start closing above the 200-day moving average, that confirms that support here is forming, and any little poke below it should find support above that low, so making higher lows. That would be very constructive. That would get me excited to start doing some bullish swing trades that maybe last three or four weeks. But until then, I'm going to keep it very short term. So NVIDIA, nice stock. Let's go in. Let's find our stock for today. I am going to be on the bullish side because we are still above the 200-day moving average. And we've seen really nice buying. We also have a buy signal on a daily basis, two-hour basis, one-hour basis. 
those longer term time frames are still intact. So as the market is pulling back, we love opens like this, especially when we've got a longer term tailwind. Why? because we want to join that longer term trend, which is taking place over the last week or so. Since the FOMC meeting, the price action's been very bullish. Okay, so a pullback like this allows us to search for relative strength and to find it early in the day. And when the market gaps down, 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 it makes it much easier for us to see the stocks that have relative strength because they're gonna be treading water or even moving higher. So I'm going to go into my relative strength 30 list. I'm going to go right to Apple. Look, buy signal, 5-minute, 15-minute, 30-minute. Huh, on buy signals across those early time frames when the market is what? Down. Well, let's take a look at that chart. Let's see what Apple's doing right now. Market gap down, drifting lower. Apple rebounding through the prior day's high. Decent volume, excellent relative strength. Hey, I think we got a really good one here, folks. D1 chart, downward sloping trend line. Breach to the upside. Put up those major moving averages, see where they come into play. Yes, we're above all of them. And we've got a breakout above that downward sloping trend line. And we have relative strength today. Apple is your stock pick of the day. If you wonder how in the heck I find these winners day in and day out, it's because I have a systematic trading approach that I teach. An option stalker is a platform that I offer to the public. It makes finding these trades so easy. And so fast, here we are, 30 minutes into the open. I can almost guarantee you that when I do my next video, Apple will be higher than it is right now. Good luck with your trading. Please post your comments. Thank you, everyone, so much for posting comments. I haven't been able to get as many videos up as I'd like to. Your comments definitely motivate me. Thanks. Good luck with your trading. We'll see you soon. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. I'm Pete Stolzers and I'm going to keep the trade ideas coming along with lots of education. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and please turn on your notifications so that you never miss another trade. If you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. I've loaded two other videos that I think you're really going to enjoy. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon.